In district playoff action, the Eagles traveled to Lake Orion to face the Dragons. And the Eagles started off with two quick catches by Ethan Barker, both of them for first down. Then Mario Guitar bangs forward for six yards. Blake Rastafur would next hit Steve Nadolski to once again move the chains for the Eagles. But the drive came to an end when Rastafur was wrapped up and spun. The ball bounces off the defender and is picked up by Lake Orion's Caden back. The Dragons' first drive ate up just over six minutes of the first quarter and a lot of yardage. Centered around their big running back, Kobe Manzo. But the Eagle defense closed ranks and forced Lake Orion to settle for a field goal. The Dragons led 3 to nothing with 2.56 left in the first quarter. The Eagles' next drive closed out the first, and they were looking to Ethan Barker. It continued into the second quarter where Barker made it look easy, always adding to that highlight reel. Check out the sophomore with this grab for the touchdown. Rasticu with a perfect placement, and Ike went up, 7-3, with 10.51 left in the second quarter. The Dragons' next drive was stopped by the Eagles' defense. But an uncharacteristic drop on the punt return by the Eagles gave the ball back to Langorian. Despite the extreme cold, the Eagle defense heated up, led by this ferocious hit by Anthony Cardamon. Eisenhower again stopped the Dragons and forced them to punt. The Eagles' next drive was cut short. Looking for Aiden Ives, Blake Rastigu pass is picked off by Joe Cady deep in Eisenhower territory. The Dragons' Kobe Manzo would find the end zone to take the lead 10-7 with 5.24 left in the first half. But hold on, Blake and the boys are not done. Rastigu sees Nadolski, hits him in stride and Steve does the rest. The Eagles take the lead back 14-10 with 4.35 left in the second quarter. Closing out the first half, the Eagles again move the ball. Rastikew sees nothing but gets big yards on the keeper. He then finds Ethan Barker down to the two. A pitch to Nadolski would get Ike back in the end zone, where they extended their lead 20 to 10, which is how the half ended. Early in the second half, the Eagles were carried by runs by Mario Guitar. Then a bullet to Nadolski, who avoids the big hit. Yeah! Resticue would then see Ian West, and the Eagles put up seven more to make it 27 to 10 
with seven minutes left in the third. The Dragons would score on this touchdown to Jacob Smith with 23 seconds left in the third quarter. That cut Ike's lead 27 to 17. A late field goal by Lake Orion would make it 27 to 20, but the Eagles would hold on for the victory and get to hold the district champion trophy, slaying the Dragons 27 to 20. Next up for Eisenhower, the Davidson Cardinals in the regional championship game. We'd like to thank you for watching the Eisenhower We'll have Eagle interviews from the victors we'll when the Eisenhower Eagle, Eagle football Davidson. review returns. We would like to thank Esplendido Mexican Cuisine for their 20-year sponsorship of both Utica and Eisenhower football coverage. It's that great taste that helps keep a great Shelby Township tradition going. All right, I know this isn't any fun to talk about, but we should. Okay, so who's gonna do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect, that's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And I'll try to get the generator going without any gas. Oh, let's not forget the cell phones, which probably won't work. Right. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. Well, I think we couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. There's just one place where students are students first and athletics are played with purpose and perspective. That place is your local high school. High school sports offer more than the joy of competition. Studies show that student athletes are also likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in other areas of their lives, including academics. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. District champions here in a 27-20 victory over the Lake Orion Dragons, and uh, you know this is one of the top teams in the Oakland County area. And you guys came in and pretty much, I, I want to say, handled them. We saw more of their guys on the ground than our guys. Yeah, our, our kids played a fantastic game. You know, we, we talk about them leaving their own legacy. You know, they're part of a great football program in Eisenhower High School, but for them to to leave their own legacy, they got to win a championship. And and so we talked about winning this championship all week, all last week. And, uh, you know, I'm really proud of the way our kids played. I mean, even we turned the ball over four times and, and still were able to come away with a win against an opponent like Lake Orion. So uh, that's unbelievable. It's almost like an abuse, uh, like you're teasing them. You're giving them the ball. You're challenging. Come on, you got something for us or what? But, but your defense came up big, and uh, keeping them from getting outside was a big deal. I mean, this team has one of the top running backs in the Oakland County, and their quarterback is a three-year starter. And, uh, can run the ball. So one of our, you know, one of our things that we were trying to accomplish this week is stop number 40, their running back. Nobody has yet. So um, I thought we did an unbelievable job, and we did a great job against them. And I'm um, really proud of those defensive guys. And your guys were were able to throw against their defense, and uh, you know, a couple of touchdown bombs and Nadalski and Barker, and uh, 
uh, you know, you're, you're up 27-10 in third quarter. What are you thinking in the third quarter? Well, I was thinking if we would have caught a, another pass, we would have been up four scores. But I, you know what? Uh, we saw some things. Coach Moore saw some things with these guys, and we thought we could pass the ball on them. And uh, so, you know, our game plan was to, to first of all, win everywhere you can, but um, we knew we could throw the ball. We had to get throw the ball, and I think Blake had a great, another great game. Uh, your offensive line seemed to give them a little, give Rasticu a little protection there. Uh, normally, Lake Orion has a fierce pass rush, and uh, you guys seem to hold them in check. Yeah, I mean, our offensive line has really been playing good. Um, you know, a lot of it has to do with they're going against our defensive line every day and practice all year. So um, the improvements there, every week I see an improvement with our offensive line, and um, we're just getting better and better there. I just, you know, I'm glad we get to continue and, and, and play another game together. And speaking of your defensive line, I mean, you kept uh, Lauer, their quarterback, who's a speedster back there and can really move. Uh, you pretty much kept them hemmed in. Was there a game plan there to keep them, uh, you know, surrounded in a sort of a cocoon-like fashion? Uh, yeah, we, you know, a quarterback like him that can run the ball as well as he does, you got to force him to stay inside that pocket and, and move around in there because he's a guy that wants to get out in space and run, and he can really hurt you if he's out in space. He got, he, you know, he broke contain a few times to get out there, but for the most part, I thought our defensive ends did a good job keeping him in that in containment pocket, and we got a couple sacks because of it. And their running back, number 40, uh, reminded us a lot of uh, Romeo St. Clair. Uh, a big back with a little bit of speed. I thought maybe he might have a little more speed, but very powerful. Very powerful. I mean, tough, aggressive. Every game we watched a film on him, I mean, he had three or four uh, plays that were just, you know, highlight reel plays that he just ran through people. They couldn't tackle him. And uh, we knew we were going to have our hands full with them, but really I, I thought we did a fantastic job at not allowing the big play from them and from him. Yeah. Next week looks like you'd be playing Davison. Uh, you have to go up to their field. Uh, and uh, it's a grass field again. Uh, is that going to affect your guys? Uh, we practice on grass every day, so I'm happy to finally play on the things that we practice on. <laughs> okay, what do you think about Davidson anyway as a football team? I haven't seen them, uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm sure I'll get some film on them either tonight or tomorrow morning and, and break them down. I've heard they've had, a, you know, they have a really good quarterback, and, um, you know, that's all I've heard about them. So uh, I'll know more tomorrow. Well, congratulations, Coach, to be a district champion and come up here to Lake Orion where Eisenhower hasn't won up here in a long time. So right. it's, a, it's a, a big win for the Eagle uh, historical family uh, to come up here and beat uh, Lake Orion. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Eisenhower's offensive star tonight uh, in a big 27-20 win over Lake Orion in district championship is Stephen Nadolski. And Stephen uh, had a touchdown pass, but he had some big passes uh, that you caught early that were made first downs and big plays for the Eagles. Uh, talk a little bit about the game plan tonight to go to you. Uh, well, we first wanted to establish a run game, but we were having a little trouble running the ball. So we started throwing, and for our, for our throws, we just wanted to get first downs and just make sure we don't lose the ball. On that touchdown uh, pass, you didn't put your arms up. You sort of... Uh, Sort of crailed at the basket catch there. Uh, were you afraid you were going to drop it? Uh, a little bit. It was nerve wracking, but I usually practice those catches at practice, so it's just easier for me to catch. But yeah, I was a little nervous. In the third quarter, okay, you guys uh, uh, you had the game 27 20 or 27 10 rather uh, in the third quarter, and we thought, well, maybe we'll see the run game. And it went three straight passes, and it looked like you were going to get a first down that you had it dropping that. What was the ball? It was just. Uh, Getting cold later, or what happened? Yeah, I just, it just slipped right through my hand. I should have had that, but yeah, that play was on me. I should have had that. You guys turned the ball over, made some mistakes tonight, and you overcame them. But after each mistake, what did you guys tell each other? Just reset. That's our motto for the team, reset. Pick each other up, because next play could be you. Okay, well, hey, congratulations. I know you want to say hello to some folks out there, Steve. Uh, my nephew, Grayson, my Aunt Sandy, my Uncle Mark, and my Aunt Missy. One of eyes on our stars on defense tonight, Gene Husky. And, uh, you know, this, we heard about the powerful Lake Orion uh, offense, and they're going to score a lot of points. But you guys seem to, for the most part, shut them down. And what do you attribute that to? Uh, just our awesome game plan, our awesome uh, coaches, just calling great plays when we needed them, and just our, our flying defense is getting to the ball always, just flying around and having fun. Uh, their quarterback, Laura, he's a pretty fast guy, number two, and, and uh, looked like you guys hemmed him in pretty good. Did you have a strategy going into that? Yeah, just wow. keeping uh, doing our jobs pretty much, just doing what we got to do. And, uh, you know, he, they had a touchdown against them, uh, against you guys early on. It was uh, off a turnover. 
um, and they scored. They were five yards out of the end zone, and they, they scored. Uh, what did you tell? What did the defense talk about after that that one? Just resetting. It's in the past. Just move on and keep making plays. I talk a little bit about you know Lake Orion has a reputation in the in the Oakland A as being a real hard hitting team, and uh, looked like we saw a few of them on the ground more than more than any Eisenhower guys. But what was it like in that uh, in the trenches there? Uh, they were they're hard hitting. They were good, uh, but we we did our job. We kept uh, flying around, getting the ball, doing our just doing our job. How does it feel to be a district champion? Oh, feels great. Feels wonderful. I love it. <laughs> I know you want to say hello to some folks out there, so I'll let you do that right now. I gotta say hi to all my family and all my friends. I love all of you. Thank you. Well, here he is, all dressed up for Halloween. One of Eisenhower's defensive stars, Nick Price. Nick, uh, you know they kept running that jet sweep a little bit, and uh, you guys kept really stringing it out and stopping it for the most part. Uh, you know, I was just really containing the side. We had a really good game plan all week, and, uh, you know, I just stopped the play. You able to read that pretty good? Can you tell? Yeah, I can read it just because I have the best view of the field as a corner because I can see the tackles and the guards, and then I can just see the jets we coming my way. And, you know, there was no deep balls given up uh, against you guys really uh, uh, tonight at all, and, and I, I don't know, I thought the quarterback was supposed to be a little bit more, uh, I guess, more of a thrower, but more be able to throw a little bit more, but he did not. Uh, I just made sure I played my coverage right, uh, made sure that the quarterback wouldn't throw it my way, and then uh, stopped stop them, the defensive line, you know, made sure, got to him, and then, yeah, pretty much he got. In, in all essence, really, you only gave up seven points on one drive tonight, to be quite honest, the others off turnovers. Um, you feel pretty good about this defense right now? I feel really good about this defense. We've been rolling all season. We've been getting better every, every week. And then, yeah, we're ready for next week, Davison. And uh, I'll ask you, just like I ask everybody else, how does it feel to be district champion? Feels amazing. Can't wait to get the regional. Okay, I know you want to say hello to some folks out there, Nick, so go ahead and say hello to your girlfriend. <laughs> I'll say hello to my family, the defense, and my whole team. Next up for Eisenhower, the Davidson Cardinals in the regional championship game. We'd like to thank you for watching the Eisenhower Eagle Football Review, and we'll see you in Ortonville to face Davidson.